the Chicago Bulls have a serious problem. After losing their season-high fifth straight game, at a time where teams are jockeying to solidify their positions ahead of the postseason, the Bulls are now 1-14 this season against contending teams. The continued trend of teams managing to limit all-star starter DeMar DeRozan via traps and blitzes the moment he gets the ball and attempts to make a move, coupled with the absence of star center Nikola Vucevic due to a minor hamstring injury, didn't make things easier on the falling Bulls. Having said this, however, statistically, Debo did manage to notch a near triple-double on the box score, notching 23 points, 11 rebounds, and 8 assists in last night's loss against James Harden, Joel Embiid, and the new-look 76ers. Now, Bulls head coach Billy Donovan did shoulder much of the blame last night following his team's defeat. I have to be better. I have to find better ways to help them. I'm in this with them. I think it's my responsibility for guys like Ao and Kobe, even Zach. Some of these guys haven't even played in places that they want to play in this league, and there are certain things you can't escape that you have to do, and you have to confront them. The fact that Donovan has coached in an NBA conference finals, coupled with the reality that players he's referring to here have zero years of playoff experience combined, this further validates the veteran head coach's point that he can help the aforementioned players be more prepared, at least mentally, which is a huge part of being an effective basketball player, regardless of the level played. The mentality is key from day one for every player that wants to make a name for themselves. Any great basketball player or coach will tell you that. Uh, by the way, I did just notice that only about 5.2% of you that are actually watching this video right now are subscribed to the channel. So if you haven't already, please do hit that subscribe button. It really does make a world of difference. And smash that like button while you're at it so that this video can get to the right sets of eyes. Now the bright spot for this team is that the anticipated return of Lonzo Ball and Alex Caruso are on the horizon and hopefully with an anticipated quick return of Nikola Vucevic, who is key for a team who's been lacking size at the 4 and 5 positions. The returns of these players is sure to be nothing but a huge positive for a Bulls team that has sustained multiple injuries to key players this season. With only 25 games left in this season, free falling at the rate that the Bulls are is an immediate cause for concern. But the main issue, however, is will the returning players be able to get back to the form that we saw early in the season, on time for the playoffs? And with such little time remaining to prepare, they will be facing teams that are well-oiled, and to be frank, no matter what caliber of player or what their talents or abilities may be, the recovery aspect of returning from an injury where a player has sat out for an extended period of time is sure to be accompanied with some rust that will need to be shaken off these players before they can not just produce but play starter level minutes in competitive NBA games. These things take time, and there is a process to everything which is why the team has to improve on what they can now rather than wait for players to get healthy. The Eastern Conference playoff race is tight, and as we all remember, the Bulls were second place in the Eastern Conference just after the All-Star break, and this fall to fourth has been quite recent. The good news is the Bulls do have a solid chance to get back in the W column immediately against the Detroit Pistons tomorrow night, and hopefully the team can get back on track and wash away the sour taste lingering in their mouths from this losing streak. And as for their abysmal losing record against contending teams, recently acquired big man Tristan Thompson made a strong point on his and probably the squad's mentality in regards to this. We've got a big three here that's really good, and they're all-stars. We've got Vucevic who's a walking double-double, Lonzo Ball who's a walking triple-double on any given night, and a bench that can change the game. It's on you media guys to create the narrative of what our record is against losing teams. For us, it's to get better every day. And this quote here is key, because as I mentioned earlier in the video, the Bulls do have weapons returning to their team's arsenal at a critical time. Now whether they will be able to shake the rust off quick enough to have a significant impact or not is yet to be seen. But would the returns of Keycogs, Lonzo Ball, and Alex Caruso have a positive impact for this ailing Bulls team? Now that right there is a guarantee. Since I love NBA basketball, I've decided to cover other teams as well. And having said this, I'm sure you guys are already aware of the disaster in LA right now for the Lakers. I recently did make a take about that that talks about why Russell Westbrook has caused the Lakers to fail. And I put a lot of time into it, so I really recommend you guys take a look at that. And I dove into some advanced metrics as well. So if you're not just a Raptors fan, but an NBA fan in general, you really do not want to miss that one. And remember, if you do watch it, you'll be feeding a hungry African. Seriously, I'm African. And I get hungry a lot. Got some munchies?